Just one change for Cork City from the defeat to St. Pat's here last week. 19-year-old John O'Donovan drops to the bench. He's replaced by Conor Dryden, who slots in at left back. A lot of attention on Cork's goal-scoring stakes, centering on Rory Keating, who will be looking to add to his 14 goals in all competitions this season. Our referee today, Rob Harvey, his assistants are Rob Clark, Wayne McDonald, and our fourth official is Rob Hennessy. Well, the Pats have made two changes. Jason McLennan and 18-year-old Adam Murphy drop out, replaced by Jake Mulraney, who's back from suspension, and Ryan McLaughlin after injury. Only his fourth game for the club, having made his debut back in August. Chris Forrester has 15 goals to his credit, two in the Cup. The man the goal Git, is playing in his fourth FAI Cup semi-final there. And this is a tremendous job. Taking up as the Pats manager of the season, Mark Doyle in the penalty area. Here's Doyle. Oh, not again. He missed the chance. And it was a shot from Keane Levy, which somehow didn't find the back of the net. I think he actually hit the defender rather than the goalkeeper. It's an unbelievable clearance from Josh Honan. Ball comes out here. Lonergan miss kicks it. Falls to Levy. And it's a brilliant clearance off the line by Josh Honan. You know, Levy should have scored there. He had all the goal to aim at, but he just a good strike for him. Just had a little bit of pressure in the last couple of minutes. A couple of balls across the box. This one from the right hand side. And Doyle snuck in around the back. Three FAI Cup goals in 11 games for Drogheda and Pats. He's added to that, Danny. The man from Scaries. And in the 12th minute, it's Cork City nil. St. Pat's Athletic won. What a fantastic delivery by Ryan McL McLaughlin. Back from the knock. Cook gets to the end line. Great ball to the back post. And Doyle comes in. We were complimenting Honan in, the, in stopping the goal line clearance there a few minutes ago, but he wasn't able to stop Mark Doyle getting on the inside of him, and it's a wonderful finish and puts Pats 1-0 up. Uh, there's the response from the Keating. Keating goes for goal! Well, the goalkeeper Linus was rooted to the spot, and he just looked at it as it whizzed by him. I don't know if he was confident that it was going wide. It was a good effort, Keating. It's a superb effort again. He gets it. He gets those little bit of pockets of spaces, drives at the St. Pat's rear guard, cuts inside, and it's a wonderful attempt. Linus is rooted to the spot. And it's so unfortunate. It just didn't curl at the last minute. A fabulous effort by Keating. Oh, Dean Linus looks a relieved man there, didn't he? I can't think of the defenders out. from that corner. Foreman. Keating! Didn't miss by much. He's getting closer and closer. One with a shot curling away to the right hand side of the post. This one to the left. Just didn't tuck itself into the bottom corner. Again, leaving Chris Forrester exposed. Warman puts a brilliant ball into the box. And Keating gets a just the better side of David of Norman and he probably should do better it's a little bit behind him but again optimistic for Cork there's there there's a goal there for them but a good strong run from Doyle it was almost 2-0 here's Keating at the other end though Keating in towards Murphy uh, Murphy again just couldn't drag that ball and put a little stop on it and the keeper came out Linus That's drops off. to it good strong header by McLaughlin but Cork get the ball back again. Here's Keane Murphy facing the right way now. Murphy, Warman, also who then cries of shoot and he just dumps it in the penalty area. Looking for a run inside the penalty area, the fullback. Yeah, he's tracked his man very well, Roy McLaughlin. Dryden, well over six feet tall. Gets on the end of it, but good defending by McLaughlin, the former Liverpool. Levy. Tended ball for Lonigan. Didn't reach his target. Again, good defending from Cork City to snap that away. And a shot in the end from Jamie Lennon. High, wide and handsome. Yeah, Mark Doyle there in that position. Probably should the reverse ball was on for Tommy Lonergan, who made a great run across him. But Doyle probably after his goal last week, his goal this week, Fancy his chances, takes a poor touch here. 
and Droynham was able to get back but the reverse oh that's a good save oh, what a goal finish and that could be it Connor Carthy's only on the pitch a matter of moments Jason Cannon's first touch good save back to Carthy left footed the man alone from Bolton the 21 year old has made it 2-0 and a huge huge step into the final 15 Connor Carthy makes it 2-0 and that's the difference of what a positive substitution can make Jason McLennan with an absolute wonderful strike from the edge of the box gets into a great position turns his man good save by Ollie Byrne but Connor Carthy with a magnificent finish off his left foot and that has surely put St Pat's back to the Aviva Stadium next month what a finish that was McLennan shot outside of the boot so was that but it hammers into the top of the net and then he runs away and wheels away in celebration to the St Pat's supporters and just a moment of quiet celebration there so, Bakari towards that six yard box All the big lads in the back are up Bulger Bakari tees it up and Keating well it's happened so many times in this game. He's had free headers, Keating, but he just, for some reason, is not able to get them on target. Despite the fact that he scored 15 goals this season, he with, can't add to that tally. With this one, he's Burn just trying to put too much. Screaming and roaring for the penalty. Alabi well, was looking for it, didn't get it. Dick Steele! Decent shot on target. Dick Steele comes in, cuts inside. Great strike. Linus gets behind it. Second left. Pats deserved winners, do you think? Especially the second half display, I thought. Yeah, I, I think they control the tempo in the second half and fully deserve that victory in the end. There goes the ball time whistle blown by a referee, Rob Harvey. Mark Doyle over the scoring in the 12th minute. Had to finish the game injured because they made five substitutions. And one of those substitutions in the second half with a blistering finish was Connor Carthy on loan for Bolton. Hammered into the back of the net. And it's St. Pat's against Bowes in the, the final next week. Hard out to Cork City. They're out. Peter, it's finished Cork City nil. St. Patrick's United 2.